we are going to take english one lesson number 2 the lady with the lamp the story is about the lady florence nightingale who has spent her entire life for serving people now let us learn more about florence nightingale from this lesson so all of you take out your sample textbook and keep pencil with you we will mark the keywords all of you take out page number 12 Lesson number two: The Lady with the Lamp. Florence Nightingale was born on May twelve, eighteen twenty, in Florence, Italy, while her wealthy parents were on a tour of Europe. She was named after the city where she was born. Her father was a wealthy landowner. At the time when Florence was born, many girls did not receive any type of education. Florence was very lucky because her father William Nightingale believed that all women should receive good education. He taught Florence and her sister a variety of subjects ranging from science and mathematics to history and philosophy. Underline philosophy. As Florence grew up, she developed an interest in helping others. She cared for sick pets and servants whenever she had the chance. At 17 years of age, she believed she was called into service by God to do something toward lifting the load of suffering from the helpless and miserable. Underline miserable. When Florence told her parents about her wish to become a nurse, they were shocked. Her parents refused to allow her to become a nurse because at that time it was not thought to be a suitable profession for a well educated woman. Hospitals at that time were dirty and horrible. Doctors did operations with no anesthetic. Most people who went to hospitals died. Florence could not possibly work as a nurse. Florence's parents sent her to Italy to forget about nursing. I'm sorry, you have to underline anesthetic. Underline this, okay? Okay. Now she be, she came home determined to be a nurse. Underline determined. Eventually, in eighteen fifty one, her father gave his for permission to. permission and florence went to germany to train as a nurse she learned nursing for 3 months it was hard work but she loved it in 1853 a friend of florence asked her to run a london hospital for invalid gentle women women there was no pay but her father gave her some money this meant she could live comfortably and pursue her career underline pursue she made a lot of useful changes in the hospital at home when her father and sister became ill florence nursed them in 1854 florence nightingale was asked to go to turkey to manage the nursing of british soldiers wounded in the crimean war Florence and 38 nurses traveled to Scutari in Turkey to help the wounded soldiers. At first, the army doctors wanted nothing to do with her. Florence would not go away. So, the doctors let the nurses into the army hospital at Scutari. Florence got busy cleaning up. She found the hospital conditions to be in a very poor state. The hospital was overcrowded and filthy. Underline filthy. There were not enough beds. Many of the wounded were unwashed and were sleeping in dirty rooms without blankets or decent food. There were no proper toilets. Drains were blocked. Rats and insects ran everywhere. The smell was terrible. In these conditions diseases such as typhus cholera and dysentery spread quickly as a result the death rate amongst wounded soldiers was very high 
most soldiers die from infections and disease rather than war wounds florence and her nurses changed these conditions they set up a kitchen fed the wounded from their own supplies dug drains for sanitation underlined sanitation and asked for help from the wives of the wounded soon the hospital was cleaner and fewer men were dying children look at the keywords and its meanings first one philosophy p h i l o s o p h y philosophy means the study of ideas and beliefs about the meaning of life next miserable m i s e r a b l e miserable means unhappy next determine d e t e r m i n e d determine means showing strong desire next pursue how it is pronounced pursue p u r s u e pursue means follow next filthy f i l t h y filthy means dirty next sanitation s a n i t a t i o n sanitation means process of keeping places clean and healthy next anesthetic a n a e s t h e t i c anesthetic means a substance that induces insensitivity to pain children now listen carefully i will explain florence nightingale was born on may 12 1820 in florence italy while her wealthy parents were on a tour of europe she was named after the city where she was born her father was a wealthy land owner so florence nightingale she was born on may 12 1820 She was born May twelve, eighteen twenty, where in Florence. So Florence Nightingale was born on May twelve, eighteen twenty, in Florence, Italy. When her wealthy parents were on a tour of Europe.
parents that her wish is to become a nurse. So when she told to her parents, they became shocked. They were shocked. And the parents refused her to become a nurse because at that time nursing was not considered as a good profession for a well-educated woman. Hospitals at that time were dirty and horrible. Doctors did operations with no anesthetic. Most people who went to hospitals died. Florence could not possibly work as a nurse. So at that time, this was happened long, long back, right? So at that time, hospitals were so dirty and horrible. Doctors did operations with no anesthetic. Anesthetic means for a substance that induces insensitivity to pain. See, when doctors do their operation, they will be given, the patient will be given anesthesia so that the patient will not feel any pain. That is how operations are doing nowadays. But at that time, operations were done without giving anesthesia to the patients. First of all, the patients are sick, ill, right? Uh, on the top of that, if their wounds are cut, deep cut, and operations are doing it, it's so painful for the patients, right? If there is a small cut in our body, how much it will be painful, we know, right? At that time, operations were done without giving anesthesia. Without the, uh, giving anesthesia was so horrible for the patients. Because of that, so many patients died at hospitals. So, it was not possible for Florence, Florence to become nurse at that time. Because it was not considered as a good profession for well-educated women. Parents sent her to Italy to forget about nursing. But Florence did not give up. She came home determined to be a nurse. So her parents sent her to Italy so that she forget about nursing. But Florence, she did not give up. She returned back home with that strong desire that, no, I want to become a nurse. Eventually, in 1851, her father gave his permission and Florence went to Germany to train as a nurse. She learned nursing for three months. It was hard work, but she loved it. So, at the end, the father gave up. Her father gave up and he gave permission. Okay, you can go and uh, do nursing. And he uh, sent her to Germany to train as a nurse. So, where did Florence go to train as a, as a nurse? To Germany. And she trained for how many months? Three months. So Florence was sent to Germany to train as a nurse and she took training for three months. And it was so hard work but Florence really loved it. Because her ambition was to serve people right. So she loved her work even if it was so hard. In 1853, a friend of Florence asked her to run a London hospital for invalid gentlewomen. There was no pay, but her father gave her some money. This meant she could live comfortably and pursue her career. So, in 1853, one of her friends asked her to run a hospital in London called invalid gentlewomen, people who were women who were disabled and sick. She was asked to run a hospital in London. But you have to work there but you will not get any pay, pay. You will not get any salary. So her father gave her some money. Because of that she could continue her work there without any problem. She made a lot of useful changes in the hospital. At home when her father and sister became ill, Florence nursed them. So when she worked there, she made a lot of changes in that hospital. And whenever her father and sister fell ill, she helped them, she took care of them very well. In 1854, Florence Nightingale was asked to go to Turkey to manage the nursing of British soldiers wounded in the Crimean War. So in 1854, Florence Nightingale was asked to go to Turkey to manage the nursing of British soldiers who were wounded in Crimean War.
और सुबह शाम सुबह है हेल्प द वुमेन सोल्जर्स वेयर टर्की फ्लोरेंस एंड टर्की एक नर्सेस ट्रैवल टू सुटारी इन टर्की टू हेल्प द वुमेन सोल्जर्स सो फ्लोरेंस अलोंग विद हर हाउ मेनी नर्सेस आल्सो वेयर टर्की ए